So we are now skipping all the way up to lesson 15, which is our geometry, so we can be ready for our time for SPAC. Just like always, we've already done this, our guided practice in class. We're going to head straight to our independent practice. So our first one, use geometric terms to describe what is shown. So remember, we're looking at rays. We're looking at angles. And we're looking at lines and line segments. So remember, a line segment has a start and a stop. A ray has a start, but it doesn't have a stop. So we use that little arrow. And an angle are two rays put together. So we'll see two of those little arrows. OK, so our first one, use geometric terms to describe what's shown. Well, this is an angle because I see those two arrows. This is a line segment, because I see a star and a stop. This is a ray, because I see one start, but I don't see a stop because of that part right there. Now, our last one, this is an angle, but to be fancy, we're going to use a term called a right angle, because we see that little box that we've done from third grade. Now, name four line segments. So I have the line segment of P to Q. And I put that line above it. I have a line segment from S to T. And I put that line segment above it. I have a line segment from Q to T. And I put that line segment above it. And what else do I have? Well, I have that line segment of T to U. And I put that above it. So there's many more that I could have done. I could have done P to R, Q to R, but it's just one four. Now name four rays. So I'm going to start with Q. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go backwards. So I'm going to go Q to P. And how do I label that? Well, I put a line and then that arrow above. I also have T to S. So I put T to S. I start at T and I'm going to S. So I put that arrow to the right. Now I have another line segment. I also have Q to R. So I start at Q and I went to R. And my next one, I'm going to say I start at Q and I'm going to, um, actually let's start with T and go to U. So I start at T and then I go to U. Now I'll name two right angles. Well, I just drew all over this thing, so I'm going to erase it so it's clear for us two right angles. So remember, wherever I see this box, that is a right angle. So I have the right angle, so I start with the angle sign, and my angle is Q, because I start at Q, then to T, and then to U. So angle Q, T, U. Now I also have another one for another right angle. Here, I'm going to start at R this time and go Q, T. So I have the angle R, Q, and T. So I started at R, I went to Q, and then I went down to T. So even though it doesn't have that little box here, I do know if this is a right angle, then the one below it needs to also be right as well. Now let's head to our next one. Use the map of Nevada. Write the geometric term that best describes each fit. So, the route between two cities. Write the geometric term to describe. So here, I'm going to say from Reno to Carson City, or pretty much any place, Hawthorne to Elko, those are all line segments. I have a start and a stop. Now, what about an actual city? So what about actually at Winnemucca, or actually at Ely, or actually at Tonopah? These are all points. They're all dots where the north and west borders meet. So here's my north, and here's my west. So here's my north border, and here's my west border also. So what do I notice right there? Well, I notice a piece of paper could fit in that corner. So what is that? That is an angle, but it's also what kind of angle? Well, it's a right angle because it has that little box there. So this is called a right angle. Now on for number 18. Write a definition for a right angle. Draw a right angle. 
give three examples of a right angle in the classroom. So here, I'm going to draw my right angle. And I'm just going to label it A, B, C. Write a definition. An angle that is how many degrees? 90 degrees. There's my definition, so I'm going to cross it out. Give three examples of a right angle in a classroom. Well, we're going to say the corner of a whiteboard. the corner of paper. So our key thing is it's all going to be corners. And then what do we have? We also have the corner of a door. Anything that has that 90 degree that a piece of paper would line up perfectly with. Nina says she can make a right angle with an acute angle and obtuse angle that have a common ray. Is Nina correct? Draw a picture and explain. Well here, I'm going to have an obtuse angle. Remember, obtuse means that it is bigger than 90 degrees. And here I'm going to break this obtuse angle up into an acute angle. So what do I have right here? I have an acute angle because that is less than 90 degrees. And that was an acute angle. So what do I have now? Well now what I have left is that right angle. So yes, she is correct. Now on for number 20. Which term describes H, J, K? So all the way across. That is a straight angle because it's straight. Now for 21, Lisa drew two rays that share an endpoint. Which of the following is Lisa's drawing? Well, it says that share an endpoint. So right here, these don't share, so it's not C. So now what I'm left with is this keyword, rays. So she has two of them. So I need to have two that have arrows on the end, because that means it goes on forever. Here, there's no arrow there, so it's not B. Here, neither one of these are rays. They're both line segments. So all I'm left with is A.